Don, we are back with another video. Man, it was another great live stream. I, I appreciate everybody that was in there, man. Just to come out and watch the Heat game during this time. And, of course, I'm talking about Knicks Heat during this snowstorm that we had. And there was so much news going on because we were on the verge of making a trade. And we were hearing that since last night. And then as, as the game went on, pretty much... The first quarter in, we got the news today. Derrick Rose has been traded to the New York Knicks. In return, Pistons got Dennis Smith Jr. and draft compensation. We're not sure um, what picks or whatnot are involved, so we will learn that later on. I'm assuming it's gonna, it's got to be a second-round pick, two at most. So, You know what I mean? What do I think about this? And for those of you that were in the live, you guys knew my view already. But I can tell you guys again that in the long term, in the long scheme of things, I can't really understand why we'd make this move. And by the way, I had this on the home screen because we got to get the subscribers up, man. You got to subscribe to this channel. Tell your mom, tell your uncle, tell your cousin, tell everybody. Subscribe to Don because the road to 1K continues. But that being said, you know, if I look at our team now, I don't understand what, what, what the point is of, of signing Derrick Rose. You know, look, at, at point guard, right? Now you have Alfred Payton at point guard. You have Austin Rivers, who's probably the, the second or third guy off the bench. You also have quickly that you want to play at point guard, but for some reason Tibbs is trying to hold him back. Because you want to have some reliability off the bench, but it's very clear that when when it quickly plays, the whole team just improves automatically. So now that leaves you with, okay, why would you want Derrick Rose to be there? Do you want him to be a mentor? As people were telling me, oh, well, you know, Don, um, Rose can be a mentor. I think that Rivers is that already for, for quickly, if anything, and so is Taj Gibson. So then the next option, people were saying, well, okay, if Rose comes in, let him be a shooting guard. Why would he be a shooting guard? R.J. Barrett plays there. You know what I mean? And there's not going to be a scenario where all of a sudden now Peyton is going to stop playing. So what, why? Why would you do this move? So my thing is, I think that Tibbs wants to create depth. He wants to win more games now. And of course, Rose can do that by giving an extra 10 to 15 which would probably be the difference, for example, in today's game. But you know then what bothers me, segueing into today's game right away, is that Tom Thibodeau's rotations make no sense. Look, his rotations just make no sense to me. If we go to our team here, it makes no sense to me. It makes no sense. What are the minutes? I Because this is the first time I'm looking at it. Quickly today played 17 minutes. Or am I crazy? Yeah, no, quickly played 17 minutes today. It makes no sense. The kid, the kid had 20 plus the other day. You know what I mean? It makes no sense. Tom Thibodeau's rotations are killing us sometimes. And Derrick Rose is only confusing it more because we seem to be guard heavy. We seem to be way heavy at guard. Derrick Rose is going to come in and start over Peyton? Are you sure about that? Peyton had how many minutes? Peyton played 31 minutes. So why would his minutes go down? Then people are saying, well, the admin out would be Austin Rivers. Rivers played 17 and so does quickly. So if Rivers is the odd man out, that leaves quickly to only play at the the two, right? Because he can't play the one because Derrick Rose is a true point guard. There are so many confusing scenarios. But then again, look, RJ Barrett to me is our is our starting shooting guard, of course, but his inconsistency sometimes hurts us. He's been playing well lately, though. So I can't really say that I would that I wouldn't start uh, R.J. Barrett because R.J. Barrett has to start. But you don't want to take minutes away from quickly because he's probably our best player now after Randall. <sighs> confusing, guys. Confusing. I, I, I can't tell you. It, it's, it's confusing. It doesn't make sense to me. And I'm, I'm sitting here thinking that, you know what? If, 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 if Rivers' minutes are cut, then I want quickly to play more. Because now we should have something solid then in that in that part of the rotation. And I do think that quickly is the key. But Tom Thibodeau has to do a way better job, you know, at, at, at making sure that the right people get the right amount of time on the court. 
Like, oh my God, it's 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 ridiculous. And and there's guys besides Randall, we need to find a better way to consistently score, man. It has to be something consistent besides Randall because it's killing us. It really is killing us today. 109, 103, we lost the game. And that's the back-to-back effect, I think. I, I, I just think we don't do well coming off back-to-backs. We had one through straight, and now we lose again because it's just it's too much. We had a back-to-back, back-to-back trip West Coast. Then we had a back-to-back trip again coming on the East Coast. Now we play again on, on Tuesday. The NBA is making money, man. They're, they're, they're definitely making money out here, and we need to find a way to, to, to have some type of balance in our team offensively because if RJ is not on and Randall is on, who else can be on? You know, we just don't have, we don't have a consistent second guy. We have Randall, but with that second guy, we don't have. And we want to say it's quickly, but the problem is that quickly doesn't start. So that that automatically puts, puts quickly on the second unit. And who do you want to have with the second unit? Is there quickly OB? Knox is not playing right now. So it's 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 pretty much a toss-up with that second unit. So it's, it's hard to see right now where consistently the starter points are going to come from. But, hey, with Derrick Rose, maybe it's a solution to that problem. Because in, in ideally, now that Derrick Rose is here, ideally, start Rose or you could play Rivers less. But I think the second one is more likely because Peyton playing 31 minutes, ain't no way he's going to get dropped to like 17. So what you can do is you can have Peyton start the way he always does. And I'm saying that because I'm being realistic with Tom Thibodeau. Peyton start how he always starts, quickly come in in his, in his spots, and then the Rivers minutes are going to um, Derrick Rose should help some of the offense flow more. And who knows? Maybe you can mix and match now with a guy who's who's even uh, still a good passer. He's a good penetrator. Derrick Rose. Maybe now you can get some shots. But of course, you gotta hit the shots, and we don't do that well either, as as Joe no- always notes. Um, we gotta start hitting some shots from the outside consistently, consistently, because for the seven, the, the seven of fourteen that Bullock went, he should be higher than that because his shots are very open, but nobody else seems to be able to hit them. You know, but let your boy Don know in the comment section, man. I, I know I just ranted and rambled, but this is like my seventh time talking about it today. So, you know, I, this was my take on that. We have to wait and see till Tuesday. Uh, Tom Thibodeau has to fix his rotations, man, because it's hurting us. It's hurting us. You, you could have played. You could have played quickly more than you did. You, there's no way quickly should have sat that long in the third quarter. And and by the time the fourth quarter came around, Burks pretty much. You know, that last shot at the end was, was just it was terrible. It was terrible because it killed us. It's a game we should have won, but, you know, sometimes you get tired. And I think this one is just fatigue. And I think we'll, well, we can run it back on Tuesday and, and we can actually come out with the win like we did the Blazers on the series. So, yeah, it's your boy Don. Like, comment, rate, subscribe if you enjoy these videos, man. I always make these videos and we continue to go on the rise. I, I, I appreciate everybody that comes out to the live streams all the time, man. It's really awesome. You guys seem to love these videos and the streams, and I like making them. So I'm going to keep doing that. The road to 1K continues. It's your boy Don. Like, comment, rate, subscribe if you enjoy these videos. But for now, I'll see y'all next time, man. Go Bucks. They winning that Super Bowl, baby. Peace. I'm out.